Welcome back, you dingoes. Traveling back to Southern California to renew the rivalry. They got a stacked team, especially on offense, so this one should be a good game. Now's a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. But we'll hear more from them at halftime. Both teams have a 99 offense, both teams 97 overall. Might be one of the first few times we've had even teams in this matchup. The original rivalry of this series, USC versus Death Valley State. Still remember the game where they beat us like 72 to 14. Let's see if we can turn the tables and beat them 72 to 14. I'm just going to take off with Tyler White. Very first play. He is gaining a ton of yards right here. 33 yards to start the game. Scrambling again with Tyler White, and they're ready for him this time. QB spy was there. Thought I could outrun him. I'm tossing it up there. Safety's gaining on him. But Phillip Miller's going up top. He's got the touchdown. Hell yeah. One for one. 55 yards and a touchdown for Tyler White. Thanks to big old Phillip Miller. What a catch. It's QB keeper. I'll be taking that or swat it down. That works too. Oh, whoa. How did he fit that one in there? No pause. Get over there, Sheeran. Oh, you dove too early. Covering up that corner. He's going to throw it. Third and one. He's going to run it. I got blocked. And we still get him. Emmett Lewis McKenzie. They're going to stay on the field to go for it. The crowd loves it. I don't. They're going to toss it out. Get out there, Rob Story. Emmett Lewis McKenzie slows him down again, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. True freshman making huge plays back to back. The veteran, so proud of the young stud. Oh, yeah, Ian Stokes on that corner. With the cut in. Man, this guy is so good. Oh, no, I got hit, and I'm still going. Nice job. Do that early. One-handed catch from Gino. This team is stacked. Keeper for Tyler White. He's got the touchdown. He is down, but hey, at least he got the six points for us. Oh, he's up in that one. Oh, that was a terrible angle. Lewis McKenzie's having a great game, though. Throwing that one on the run. Seth Washburn can't fool him. Giving me the cut. Not going to be enough, but we'll take the football. Trying to extend our lead even more. Tyler White strained his back. He's going to be out for three weeks. He is on the Heisman watch. We can't have this. Oh, Ike Bolden's got to come in and lead the charge. He's a great quarterback in his own right. That is crazy, though. Tyler White going out, getting a touchdown, straining his back. Giving it all for the team. Throwing a strike to Brian Andrews again. This one's for Schmooby. Oh, and he's breaking the tackle. Go, Schmooby! Oh, my goodness! How in the world are we turning that into a touchdown? They just can't tackle out here. Ike Bolden comes in, throws three passes, and he's already got a touchdown for himself. We are a deep football team. Doesn't matter if our best quarterback goes down. Excellent first quarter for the Dingoes. Oh, man. Whoa, Rob Logan trying to kill somebody out here. Oh, Rob Lewis. Oh, they're lucky to get that first down. He pump faked it. Does he have somebody? Yes, he does. That was beautiful. He might go the distance. Nope, Cameron Hood, way to catch up to him. Ends it up the gut. We need bigger guys on the field. I'm going to call a timeout. He's going to keep it, and we're slaughtering him. He's trying to scramble, and he's running right into Nicholas McGovern, who has the most sacks in the country this year. That one is going to be through. 21-3. Dingo domination so far. Ooh, nice grab, Cameron Beach. Oh, how did he catch it? Philip Miller. Ooh, Brian Andrews got space. Give him that stiff arm or not. Good throw. 
Oh, and he breaks the tackle. Geno's breaking loose. Diving for the end zone. We got another touchdown. Lighten up the scoreboard. 28 points in the first half. Ike Bolden keeping that pace alive right where Tyler White left off. Oh, got him. I'll be taking that. We're killing them today. Their backup quarterback isn't giving them anything. Second interception for the Dingo defense. Philip Miller. Yep, he's going to be gone. Unless that safety can get over there. I don't think he will. One play touchdown drive. Go ahead and pack it up and get out of here, USC. This game is ours. A seven second drive. Seven seconds. That's all it took for us to score. She'll blow me. Throwing him out of bounds. Oh. Getting triple teamed with Nicholas McGovern. Oh, swatted away. <laughs> Way off target. Got a good route on that one. Oh, what a weird animation on that block. Got lucky. They're going to score here 35 to 10. Oh, they left him alone again. What are they doing? Philip Miller. This is going to be like a 90-yard touchdown for him. And he's going to walk it in. Another one-play touchdown drive. This one, 89 yards. Ike Bolton's already got four touchdowns in this one quarter. Hope the rest of the country is watching. Put Ike Bolton on the Heisman watch. <laughs> How the fuck did he throw that? He's going to keep it, and he's going to go backwards. They're booing him off the field. Can you blame him? 42 to 10. Oh, and they're going to fake it. That is a scrub mistake, and he's not going to get it. He didn't even run past the marker. They got to double boo him. The fans, uh, they might as well start clearing out. This one is long over. Throwing a missile back at Phil Miller. He just continues to get open. He's got 240 receiving yards in the first half. Oh, to the corner, Philip Miller again. He's already broken a school record for receiving yards in a game, and he did it in one half. Ike Bolden, five touchdowns in one quarter. Philip Miller's going to get himself on the Heisman watch if he keeps this up. Bro, with how we've been playing, we might drop 100 points on USC. I'm going to keep trying for it. Oh, how did he throw that football? I nailed him. Oh, they're doing the four verse. He's got a guy in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Well, more chances for us to score. Can Ike Bolden get a six touchdown quarter? I'm going to keep slinging the rock because Ike Bolden is just heating up. And so is Philip Miller. They're not even covering him. What are they thinking? I'm throwing that bullet at him again. Philip Miller continues to get open. And he's still getting yards after the catch. Past three. 100 receiving yards in one half. This is unbelievable. Oh, you got to be kidding me, USC. You're making it too easy for us. You got to cover him. Across the middle, touchdown. Six passing touchdowns in one quarter. That's already a school record for the game. Ike Bolden, unbelievable. Clearly the greatest arm talent we've ever seen at this school. And he's showing us the full potential of it in this game. 56 points in one half. What you're looking at might be the highest scoring game in my channel's history. Can we drop triple digits on our rivals? Now that it's half time, let's hear from our sponsor, Manscaped.com. You know what I love about Manscaped.com so much? Because their products are extremely high quality. And two, they help me pay the bills. But seriously, Manscaped created the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit that makes manscaping safe and easy. I love and use all their products basically every single day. The Perfect Package 3.0 kit features the new Lawnmower 3.0, water-resistant body trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, and of course, the comfortable and stylish anti chafing cooling boxer briefs. These boxers have crap cooling technology to keep your pant buddies dry and cool even during exercise or hot weather and have contour flex material that promotes breathability and repels moisture. Paired with the crop preserver ball deodorant, your puppies will always be fresh, leaving you confident
to take on any challenge. They've been a lifesaver for me. I used to have some brutal swamp nuts, but I haven't had them in years thanks to Manscaped. You can pick up Manscaped boxer briefs in the Perfect Package 3.0 kit at 20% off at my custom link in the description below at manscaped.com slash expert. Once again, that's manscaped.com slash expert for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks again to manscaped.com for sponsoring this video. To me, dropping 100 points on USC would just come full circle for these dingoes. This is for the walk-ons for when they beat us down 72 to 14. We're going for the triple digits. And he's gonna get sacked. Bruce Parks, you might wanna hang it up, son. That's gonna be fourth. I'm calling timeouts early. Oh, Ike Bolden, not your best play. Got to keep running and pay attention. Got him, Schmooby. Look at Ike Bolden scrambling around, breaking tackles too. How did he catch that? My goodness, Ike Bolden can just zip it at him before the safety even gets anywhere close. Just going short. Roberto Saldana breaking tackles. You love to see it. Got Schmooby for that first down. Throwing it early, and that's going to be picked off in the end zone. He's scared to ring it out, so he's just going to kneel it down. You got us this time. Ike Bolden, he's very confident. I mean, he's already got six passing touchdowns today. Almost had a seventh right there. Ooh, big gain for them. <laughs> Making them do front flips. I love it. Not even going to complete it. Nicholas McGovern just stuck his big cheeks out there and blocked him out. Ooh, they forgot about that running back. Give him that stiff arm. Eric Hall getting a catch. Make sure you go forward, though. We need the first down. Ooh, making a miss. Anthony, you has. Their defense is hell scrubby. No touchdown here, but oh, so close. Throwing it to him. Phillip Miller's got another one. I don't understand how he's doing this today. Ike Bolden's got seven passing touchdowns, most of them to Phillip Miller. And he's breaking Kevin Davidson's old record of six passing touchdowns with his seventh one here in the third quarter. Phillip Miller, yeah, make sure you chug your Gatorade, son. You've been running around all over the place today. They're moving the ball now. Oh, untouched to the end zone. They got another touchdown, 24 to 63. Still a beat down on our end. They got Phil Miller isolated out there. Oh, I wanted to send it. He would have to yeet that thing like 400 miles. He's open. Bink, Gino's got another catch. I see you. That's gonna be, oh, he could have had an interception, but he just goes for the SWAT. And I know he can outrun him. Oh, almost picked off again. I'm just trying to target Philip Miller. And everybody in the building knows it. Got him. What a throw to Schmooby Jones. Still not covering this dude over here. Oh, man, going for the ankles. Way to throw him open. Oh, and here goes Cameron Beach. Throwing everybody off of him. Got him. Philip Miller's still breaking it. Oh, I stepped out. Oh, just run this in. Ike Bolden. He's breaking the tackle. He's got eight touchdowns on the game. Seven passing, one rushing. Dropping a 70 bomb on him. Got the second team defense in now because, I mean, look at the score line. Swatted away from Jablomi. Screen pass. The Tessman. Going to Phillip Miller, who's got, what, like 11 catches on this game. Oh, got him again. Number 13. 
Phillip Miller's going for history. Breaking his school record for passing yards in a game. Exactly 600 for Ike Bolden. Definitely gonna keep that game ball. What makes this even crazier is he came in like once Tyler White went down with an injury. He didn't start the game and do all this. Got him. Phillip Miller. He's got history here. School record for receptions in the game. 14, 363 yards, and five touchdowns. This is probably going to be picked. Or, sh oh, yeah, it is, pick it is picked. I thought Shmooby Jones was going to do something insane. Second interception of the game for that dude. Oh, he found a man. Not really changing the scoreline much at all. 31 to 70. Ooh, tight end. Deep ball again. Phillip Miller, catch number 15. I don't know what the NCAA record is, but he's got to be getting close. Got a guy passing touchdown number eight. Cameron Beach finding the end zone this time. Booze galore. Ike Bolden's going for the NCAA record for passing yards in a game. Oh, Leonard Siegel getting exposed. It's all right, buddy. You're trying. Swat it down. Excellent. That's going to save us some time. Oh, they get the first. Please, let's just send a punt block or something. Oh, they got a guy. Touchdown. There's still 23 seconds. I really want to try for the NCAA record for passing yards in a game. I think we're still pretty far away, but worth a shot. Oh, I'm going to have to burn my time out. But hey, that's going to send us back eight yards. More potential for yards for Ike Bolden. Oh, he's wide open. This is going to be it. Another touchdown. And that's the NCAA record passing yards in a game. It's for the team, not for the individual player, but we accomplished it. Hell yeah, Ike Bolden. You just made history. And we're dropping not 72, but 84 points on USC. Ah, sweet, sweet revenge. We have come full circle in terms of the USC rivalry. And <laughs> Ike Bolden, my goodness. Almost 700 passing yards, 10 total touchdowns after he came in like midway through the second quarter. I have never seen an explosion like that in my life. Stats on the game. You better get ready for all these numbers. You're not going to believe them. Ike Bolden, 37 to 44, 700 passing yards, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Tyler White went out in the first quarter. He was four or five, 119 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions. On the ground, Brian Andrews carried it eight times, 72 yards. Tyler White, six times, 54 yards and a touchdown. Anthony Yu has three carries, 51 yards. And Ike Bolden had negative 14 rushing yards, but he had a touchdown. And Philip Miller, a ridiculous 15 catches, 373 receiving yards, five touchdowns. Gino had 189 yards and three touchdowns. Shmooby Jones, 85 yards and a touchdown. Cameron Beach, 53 yards and a touchdown. Nine tackles for Rob Lewis leading the team. We had four sacks. Rob Lewis had two of them. Nicholas McGovern had one and Emmett Lewis McKenzie had one. Two interceptions on this game. One for Seth Washburn and one for Grayson Burris. 12 extra points for Dawson Solomon. Just non-stop kicking. We had 817 passing yards and almost 1,000 yards as a total. We were closing in on the most yards ever in NCAA history in a single game. Sadly, after his injury, Tyler White plummets out of the Heisman watch and being out three more weeks, he's likely not going to be able to come back. So that leads me to believe, like, what is our next option at Heisman? Because I still want to try for it. Is it Ike Bolden? Is it now Philip Miller, the wide receiver? Like, what do we do here? I don't know, but I'm excited for the rest of the year. And look at all the awareness boosts we're getting from last game, too. Ike Bolden now up to a 94. Tyler White going to be out for a couple of weeks, so he's got to lead the charge. Geno's up to 99 catching. Crazy how he's getting the boost and not Philip Miller. It must be just like a raw development trait for Geno. That's pretty much all I have for this video. Next episode, we're going to have a barn burner with number four Auburn. Should be a good one. We got a ton of recruits visiting that week as well. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.